2 in Napa Valley. Right now we're headed to ZD Wines, one of my all-time favorite Cabernets. Here's a little overview of where they sit on the Silverado Trail and some of the big names that surround them. You see Camus, Frog's Leap, Honig, Round Pond, and so on. This family-owned winery produces less wine than Camus makes of their special select. So still very small production, they're very hands-on in everything that they do. If you haven't heard of ZD Wines, maybe you have heard of Abacus. These are the winemakers behind Abacus, which is a Solera style wine, meaning they take every vintage of the ZD Reserve Cabernet and blend every vintage from 1992 all the way to the current vintage into one bottle. So today we are tasting the Abacus 19, which is 1992 and every vintage up to 2016. This is definitely a one of a kind wine and it comes with a hefty price tag. A bottle of this will run you around $700 but we were lucky enough to have a friend in the business and got us a three ounce tasting for free, which normally would have cost $85. Next, we are paying a visit to Herb Lamb, which is currently run by Jennifer Lamb after her husband passed away. This is actually the driveway that leads through their seven acre estate, which is pretty small in the aspect of winemaking, so small that they don't have a storefront or tasting room, which makes wine tasting illegal in Napa Valley. However, this is not a wine tasting, we're just a couple of friends coming over and we're going to drink wine at 2 o'clock. No big deal. And if you haven't heard of Herb Lamb Wines, you might have heard of Ann Colgan, who is a very famous Napa Valley winemaker. A bottle of her wine will set you back roughly $700. And when she was coming up in the winemaking world, she was sourcing her grapes from this plot of land. From Herb Lamb, she rose to fame. So if you're into Napa Valley wines, you'll know that a bottle of Herb Lamb is a steal at $250 a bottle. Hey, can you subscribe to my channel?